Okay, I'm gonna make a quick video here. This is my stock from DeSantis. It's a DeSantis military ulster, a military sling. And has these things here called frogs. And when I first got this out of the box, I was like, what the fuck? How, how do I put this piece of shit on? I mean, what's going on here? And I went on YouTube and I found the video and that gentleman had a brown version of the sling and it wasn't a DeSantis, but it was the 1907 military sling. I've also seen Clint Smith with the 1907 military sling on an old Free Springfield. And I saw a training video from World War II where they have the head instructor, the recruits, and the assistant instructors. And the rec and head instructor is giving the instructions. To the assistant instructors are doing the demonstration. And they're like, well, you put this here, you put that there, you loop that through there, you put that on your arm there, you turn that there, all this sort of bullshit. And one of the recruits said, sir, the Japs and Germans firing at us, will we be able to physically get into these positions? And he said, well, you do what you can do. You might not be able to do it, but you can, you will. I'll put a link below for that video. Now, the reason why I bought this sling was because this is my shit is the fan rifle. Okay, this is the rifle that I'm gonna grab when the world is coming to an end. And when the world is coming to an end, you may need to move boxes of ammo, boxes of food, a person, and you don't want to be able to put down, um, uh, you don't want to be putting down that stuff. You don't want to put down your rifle and uh, end up, you don't want to put down your rifle to pick up your box of whatever and come back for the rifle leg when I have time to. So that's why I got this. Now, I'm gonna show you how I, how I loosen it up. Okay. Put the frogs in. Okay. This, and how you wanna carry it, round chamber, safety on, safety off, depends on the situation. I would highly recommend putting the safety on and unless the world is coming to an end, maybe you don't wanna have round chambered. But you can carry it like this and this leaves you free here. Okay, you can carry it. Some guys prefer to carry it. Um, muzzle down, which is, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, would, I would carry it like this, yeah. We're gonna go like this with it because I've seen carries on TV, but this carry here seems to be the best. Carry it like this and do whatever. Move boxes, move people, move food, move whatever. Okay, eat. Okay, it's out of the way, it's comfortable for me. This is on my dominant side and I can easily come out of it and grab it. I have it loosened like this now, that's how I'm carrying it. I have to do some more experimentation, just showing you what it is. I still gotta experiment with it, open this, loosen that, tighten that. But this is my experimentation. If the shit is really hitting the fan, I can put it on my body. Put it on my body entirely. No, that's not work. But one thing people say is, if you're ever in a home defense situation and you need your rifle for your home defense, just leave it out. Try as hard as you can to loop the sling around you somehow. Because if the sling is physically around you, somehow, okay? Obviously, this is not a good way to carry it. Okay, twist it in figure eight. Okay. This will not be a good way to carry it. This is sort of amateur hour. Yeah, this is amateur hour. I'm gonna be very honest with you about that. But God forbid you're in a home defense situation and this is your home defense weapon. It could also be your shotgun. It could also be your pistol caliber carbine. The fact that the rifle is now in a sling position 
around my, my arms. Even though this is not in any textbook, and even though I literally made it up just this instant, the fact that the sling is like this now means, and yes, it is clear, I checked before, but the fact that the sling is like this now means if I am accosted, if the bad guy grabs me and starts pulling on me, the fact that the sling is around me means he will have to work harder to get away from me. If your hands are not in the sling, if the sling is like this, or if there's no sling at all, depending on how determined the bad guy is to get you, depending on how, what a mood he's in, okay, he can disarm you. You can be disarmed. So the fact that you can somehow loop it around, get a grasp on it, and yes, I can reach the trigger and the safety like this. But this fact here means it will be harder to take it away from me. And I did that move within two seconds. I figured it out live on camera. So that is why I have a sling. I have no intention of going to the range with it and doing the arm up and this and that. I have no intention of doing that. None. But I have it that way, God forbid, the world is coming to an end. And I need it. If I'm in a riot, if there's a civil unrest, if I have to grab to defend myself, I have the means to attach it to my body. And is it a guaranteed survival? No. But it reduces the chance that gun will be taken from you in a close quarter combat. And it gives you a better opportunity to get to the trigger, to get to the safety, to get to the slide, and eliminate the threat before the gun is confiscated. And it gives you the option of carrying the gun on you physically and still having your hands free for other things. As you can see, I'm still learning with this. This is new experience for me. I've had years of experience with holsters and shit like that. But this is a new experience to me. True. And I have to learn, learn a lot. But I got it. I made step one. Consider buying a sling for your rifle or your shotgun. This is the 1907 military sling by DeSantis. This sling will fit Garands. This sling will fit Ruger Minis. This sling will fit M1As. Just give yourself the option. You can see there if you can of having this on your body. Yes, it is safe. The trigger is out of the way. The handguard, all of this stuff is out of the way. Okay, and just, I can, right now I can pick things up, move food, eat, draw my pistol if I have a pistol, use my cell phone, okay? Use my rescue tool. Use my knife. My knife, my pocket. Okay. Watch television. Make, okay, so the gun is still physically with me without me putting it down and walking away and forgetting about it. I can go to the bathroom, like I can pee like this if I have to. Okay, I could be on a, a patrol if I'm guarding my home in a shit is defense scenario. I can guard the home like this, and when it happens, I can grab and come in. Fast. Should I practice that more? Of course I should practice that more. Are you kidding me? But this is a lot faster than putting it down, walking 10 feet away, and then having a problem. So invest in the sling. Yeah, and the fop, and the fop, and the fop came undone. It just came on the now. I'm fucking with it. Okay, thank you.